We're at Wildwood Baseball Park. We're on a beautiful May Saturday morning. Sheboygan South is going to host Crosstown Rival, Sheboygan North. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. And uh, North comes in with a stellar 13-4 and record. They're 9-3 and in uh, conference and in second place. It's a uh, Pretty much a foregone conclusion that uh, Bayport will win the conference. They haven't lost a game yet. Uh, but there is still a battle for second. Uh, Ash Wabanon is right on the heels of North. And uh, so North needs to win some ball games to stay in second. South comes in with a fine 10-7 and seven record. They've been slipping in conference, however. They come in with a 6-6 six and six record. Uh, they lost to Bayport, the uh, number one team in the state, uh, on Thursday. Three to nothing. Carter Amundsen pitched that ball game and pitched really well, uh, based on the score. Obviously, the offense was a problem. North South only collected three hits, uh, and Amundsen not only having a good spring in the, on the mound, he's also uh, hitting outstanding. He was up over 500 for a good part of the season. Uh, South also has some good good players. They're going to be starting their uh, ace, Tyler Van Calligan. Uh, Van Calligan comes in with uh, 33 innings pitched and uh, has a 2.31 ERA. Uh, so he's doing good in that regard. Uh, Tyler also hitting a uh, robust 304. Uh, South has uh, had their troubles uh, hitting. Uh, had them on uh, last Saturday in a doubleheader against Preble. And uh, they pretty played pretty well in the first game until the end. Uh, Preble was able to mount a seventh inning rally and win that one and then uh, the wheels kind of fell off in the second game and uh, Preble didn't have much trouble winning that second game and South wound up dropping a double header uh, over at the Field of Dreams that same day North uh, split with De Pere in in a double header and uh, her pitchers wound up walking I think it was 15 or 16 batters in the second game and uh, that's really what cost uh, North in that second game uh, you can see they're having the meeting at home plate, uh, getting the ground rules scored away and the lineups uh, set. And uh, South is going to be starting Ger uh, Jared Recolitis. And uh, Recolitis pitched uh, real well against Preble in that first game last Saturday and uh, wound up with a no decision. Uh, they brought in uh, John Raff to pitch the seventh, and uh, Preble, like I said, mounted a rally and was able to pull out the win. We're going to go through the lineups before we get started. First for South, for North, pardon me, Garrett Rivest will be leading off and playing right field. Cody Weiss, uh, he was second team all-conference last year, uh, is batting second and playing center field. Aaron Peterson will be at shortstop, batting third. Tyler Van Calligan, the pitcher, will be uh, batting fourth. Weston Nelson is at third and batting fifth. Austin Mork will bat in the sixth slot. He's in left. Riley O'Connor, uh, another fine catcher, will bat seventh. And Dominic Mann is DHing for uh, Tommy Wright in the eighth spot. Tommy's over at second. And uh, Matt Theobald, good fielding first baseman, will bat ninth and, like I mentioned, play first base. South out in the field, there you see uh, Recolitis warming up. Jared. Uh, they will have uh, Tanner Recolitis, he's a senior, playing over at first base. Robert Huffman is at second. Carter Amundsen, I mentioned his name, he pitched well against the Bayport, is uh, really hitting the ball this spring. He'll be at third. Shortstop is Tyler Zietz, he's a good one. Uh, batting in, uh, pardon me, playing out in left field is Aaron Gutierrez. In center is Mitchell Martinez, a really fast outfielder. And playing in right is Matt Miller. Uh, Connor Harrison will be uh, DHing for him. And uh, we'll go through the uh, batting order for South uh, when they come up to bat in the bottom of the first. Crowded press box today. Clean Bennett from the press is up here. And uh, Mike Ratz, uh, right our field announcer, you can hear him in the yeah. background. Rivest will lead off. Garrett is hitting uh, 313 coming in. Uh, he does have one double. 
pretty speedy outfielder. Within a couple days, uh, we'll have the seating meetings, and uh, once they get that accomplished, then the WIAA will uh, complete the pairings. Uh, North is in the sixth sectional, which is a good thing. They don't have to match up against uh, Bayport in the uh, in the sectional. First pitch by Erecolitis is a strike. Paul Grauman behind the plate, and Jim Double D Doden on the bases. Pitch rides outside. It's one and one. Paul and I worked a uh, JV game just the other night. North against Green Bay Notre Dame. Uh, Jim Doden, a graduate of UW Lacrosse. Rivest with a one ball, two strike count. And falls that one straight back. There's a double header today. Uh, we will be covering the first game, not the second. And we may have one more game coming up on our uh, regular season broadcast schedule. I'll look and see if that's going to happen or not. Line drive out the center field. Nice catch made by Mitchell Martinez, and Rivest is out. Cody Weiss stepping in now. He's uh, batting number two. Like I mentioned, he was second team all-conference last year as an outfielder. Um, Cody is way up there in the batting, hitting 333. And he's hit by a pitch. And uh, he gets on base the hard way. Aaron Peterson uh, is going to step in next. Peterson uh, is hitting uh, 333 also. I believe he was, uh, his name was mentioned in the paper. He uh, got a pretty nice scholarship at uh, Scholarship Awards Night. He attended Lincoln Erdman Elementary School and uh, Horseman Middle School. The only knock on Aaron is he's a Yankee fan. <laughs> <laughs> we like those Cub fans up here. How can you not like the lovable losers? <laughs> Peterson took that first pitch for a ball, and then a pickoff attempt over at first is a little late. One out, man on first, Darren Peterson at bat. Pitch right down Main Street for a strike. Peterson looking for his first extra base hit of the year. Pitch rides in a little bit low. It's two balls and one strike. Chris Wright over at third. Rick Bubbles over at first on the coaching lines for the Raiders. Ball is driven foul over the head of uh, Richard Bartson. Richard running our uh, first base camera. Scott Mailoff is uh, behind home plate. We have a third camera being manned by the invisible man. And uh, Kerry Kautzer is our director today in the truck. Kerry warming up for the uh, Memorial Day parade. They were hard up for an announcer for the Memorial Day parade, Mike, so they asked me. Oh, boy. Taking a sports aficionado and making him do public service. Yeah, I can't wait for the uh, A's contingent to go by. <laughs> Line drive up the middle. Zietz has it. Steps on second for one. Throw to first is a tailor-made double play. And at the end of a half inning of play, north nothing, south coming to bat.
Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. W where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Honestly, dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? Back at uh, Wildwood Park, uh, like I mentioned in the opening, it's a beautiful day here on uh, Saturday, May 18th. And uh, getting down near the end of the season, uh, the seating meetings will be happening in, happening in just a couple days. And then uh, once that's completed, they will uh, determine the pairings for uh, the state tournament run. And uh, if... Uh, North can win enough games, they stand a chance of being able to draw a first round bye in the regionals, and then they would play on uh, May 30th here at uh, Wildwood. Uh, if South can win a couple, uh, I don't think they have a chance to uh, get into the uh, bye range, but uh, they could definitely, with a couple wins, earn a home game. And uh, if things play out right, what could happen is they would uh, play actually a doubleheader here one team would play at four in their regional game, and then uh, the other team would play at probably around seven o'clock in, in their regional game. But uh, like I said, that is all to be determined based on the uh, seeding meetings. All right, for South, leading off is uh, Tyler Zietz. Zietz, of course, a shortstop. It's a bouncer up the middle. Peterson over to first for the out. Now batting for the Red Wings, number 27. John Raff. John Raff is uh, batting second. Carter Amundsen hitting third. Robert Huffman fourth. Tanner Recolitis at first base will bat fifth. Jared Recolitis, the pitcher, is going to hit sixth. Batting seventh is the designated hitter, Connor Harrison. He's hitting for uh, Matt Miller, the right fielder. Mitchell Martinez is eighth, and Aaron Gutierrez is uh, batting ninth. Pop up, and a nice catch made out there by uh, Weston Nelson, I believe that was. Now batting the third baseman, number 16, Carter Amundsen. And Nelson was uh, the fielder on that first play. And this brings up uh, Carter Amundsen. Carter was hitting 535 uh, according to the sheet from uh, the game we did the other day. Now there are a couple games in from those stats. I think his average has gone down some. But uh, even if it's gone down some and he's only hitting 490, <laughs> you can tell he's uh, been striking the ball really well so far. Second pitch is a ball also. And Calgan gets it in on the hands of Amundsen who bounces at the third and the throw across the infield is in time and uh, that's the end of one inning of play. At the end, it's uh, north nothing, south nothing. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. 
I'm Sandra Fry. I'm a union bus driver, and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over 2 million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver could be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. Getting ready to lead off the uh, top of the second is Tyler Van Calligan. Uh, no score after one. Leading off for the Raiders, number 10, the pitcher, Tyler Van Calligan. Van Calligan comes in hitting 304. He's uh, had a nice uh, season so far. First pitch is a ball. Van Calligan, a senior, also attended Lincoln Erdman and Horseman Middle School. He played some football. He's a Braves fan. Which is okay, I guess. Likes Chinese food. Who doesn't like Chinese food? Whoa, up and in. Ducks out of the way. Puts the count at 3 and 0. Never like to put the leadoff hitter on. Jared Recolitis into the windup. And that pitch is high. Four pitch walk. Brings up Weston Nelson. Nelson's a good hitter. He's uh, hitting 407 and has six doubles. And uh, I was here the other night when they played uh, Bayport and he struck one to the wall. Uh, Really hit it nice, drove in a couple runs, tied up the ball game at that point. Recolitis back on track, pumps that first pitch in for a strike. A pretty nice crowd. Still filing in. A good change of pace there. Nelson swings through it. It's no balls and two strikes. And Calligan on at first. Carter Amundsen has it at third, throws across to second for the out. But uh, the relay throw back to first is not in time. Nelson reaches on a fielder's choice. And with one out, Austin Mork stepping in. Nice play by Carter Amundsen. Mork comes into today's game. With a 304 average. He uh, doesn't have the extra base hits that some of the other boys have. He's got a double, no homers, no triples. Slow roller out to Zietz. Throw to uh, second is late and into right field. And uh, Nelson is on it, second he's safe. That's going to be an error on the throw. And that's going to bring up Riley O'Connor. Riley, like I mentioned, is a good, good catcher. And uh, he's hitting 348. Really having a nice year. A couple of doubles. Pitch is a little bit outside and low. Ball one. O'Connor really runs the show behind home plate, just like John Raff does. John, a uh, really good catcher for South. Sheboygan is blessed with having good catchers. And I'll tell you, another kid who's a pretty good catcher, although he's not catching today, is Weston Nelson. Connor has uh, 16 hits and 46 at bats. That pitch is low. And uh, Recolitis digging himself a hole. 3 and 0 the count, two runners on, only one out. And 
That pitch is high for ball four. That loads him up. Dominic Mon. Dominic is a Jefferson boy. Dominic hitting uh, 341. Has two doubles and a triple. He's got good extra base power. I remember umping a game last year. It was the Legion JV game, and uh, he knocked one out of the park. So he's got the power. Will Madsen coming out to the mound to uh, talk to uh, the team. Will is the uh, pitching coach. Craig Clace is the uh, head coach. Will has been uh, part of the program for a long time. Played at South. Played on uh, state tournament team. Will was also signed... Uh, played in the minor league, so he got his involved in the pro ball after uh, playing with the Sheboygan A's and then came back and played several more years with the A's. All right, bases loaded, one out. Austin Mork, or pardon me, Dominic Mon up. Breaking ball in for a strike. When Dominic uh, is not DHing, he's playing over at first base. Pitches outside. One and one. One out. Bases loaded. No score. We're in the top of the second. This is a key point of the ball game for both teams. Mon didn't want to swing, but uh, hung the bat out there, and the check swing is called a strike. So it's one ball and two strikes. Fly ball out to right. Gutierrez got, has a bead on it and makes the catch, making the tag and scoring from third base is Weston Nelson. So give Mon a sacrifice flying an RBI and North on top, Robert one to nothing. The Raiders, first baseman, number 14, Matt Theobald. Matt Theobald is going to bat now. He's hitting 306. A lot of 300 hitters for uh, North. They're hitting 317 as a team. Uh, South making a peel at third base on the tag by the runner, uh, but he, he did it the right way. Like I said, Theobald hitting 306. He's at starting at first base today. He's a really good fielder. Two outs now. Runners on first and second. Recolitis' first pitch is high. Line drive. Huffman makes a diving stop, knocks it down. Throw to first is not in time. Throw to third is in time. Getting a little too far off the base was Austin Mark, and he was thrown out trying to get back, and that's the end of the inning. Give uh, Theobald a base hit, but uh, not good base running by Mork, and uh, at the end of an inning and a half, north one, south nothing. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible.
They fought for social change. Moving to the uh, bottom of the second, uh, North scoring in the top half of the inning. His uh, leading off is going to be Robert Huffman, the second baseman. Huffman making a great attempt out at the uh, second base to uh, get the ground ball by uh, Theobald. He knocked it down but wasn't able to throw Theobald out. But uh, Saul still got out of the inning on the play when uh, Mork drifted off of uh, first base or third base too far and was thrown out trying to get back. And Callaghan's uh, second pitch is uh, driven out to a right center field, but uh, coming over and dropping the ball is the right fielder, Garrett Rivest. Rivest had a nice play on the ball, but uh, couldn't catch it. So runner on first is Huffman on an air by the right fielder, and Tanner Recolitis is up. Tanner was hitting 300 a couple of games ago. Not sure where his average stands exactly right now, but uh, he's had a nice season. First pitch was fouled back. And Callaghan on the mound for a north. O'Connor is his catcher. Got Theobald right, Peterson first to third, and then at shortstop is Weston Nelson. One ball and two strikes now with that swing and miss. Tanner's favorite food is peanut butter. It's another no-brainer for most of us. I think I mentioned last time he, he was a Cub fan. He's a smart guy. Swung and missed at that pitch though. First strikeout for a Van Calligan. Now comes Jared Recolitis. Jared has a home run on the season. Big guy, he's got pretty good power. We're in the bottom of the second. Uh, Van Calligan starting to heat up a little bit. Looks a little faster this inning than he did it in the first. Pitch rides up and in. In the outfield for uh, North, we've got uh, Mork and left, Weiss in center, and uh, Rivest out and right. Steal attempt by uh, South and uh, a nice throw by O'Connor as Huffman is a dead duck out at second. Good pick by uh, Tommy Wright and placing the tag. That uh, last pitch was a ball. It's uh, two balls and one strike. Two outs now for uh, South. Drive out to right. Rivest is going to have another chance, and this time he does grab it for the out, and we're at the end of two with North on top, one to nothing. They fought for social change. They fought against tyrants. They fought for human rights. Yet behind these achievements are individuals who waged a more personal war. They fought the struggle against mental illness. And they won.
In uh, Division I baseball, the first round of regionals is um, May 28th, and the winners would uh, advance to uh, play in the regional finals on uh, May 30th. Of course, if you draw by, you're going to play. You're going to move right to the 30th for that regional final. And uh, then sectional play comes in, and the, the state tournament one. would uh, be after that. And I actually have that information somewhere. Of course, I can't locate it right now. Wouldn't that be the case? We'll find it and pass some of those dates on to you when it shows up. I think the guy from the press stole it. <laughs> that pitch is a strike, evens the count at one and one. Base hit out the center field. Now batting for the Raiders, number 33, Cody Weiss. Garrett Rivest uh, trying to make up for that uh, error in right, although it didn't cost North anything. Uh, the runner, Huffman, was thrown out trying to steal second. But uh, Rivest on at first, Cody Weiss up. Weiss uh, was hit by a pitch. His uh, first plate appearance. Bouncing ball down the third base line is foul and uh, Wright, Coach Wright makes a nice pickup, bad toss, but uh, we'll cut him some slack. Sectionals start June 4th, and I believe they're trying to play all games on one day. There's a strike, makes the count 0-2 to Cody Weiss. Colitis drives the base runner back. Rivest has to dive back in. Pitch is low. Weiss has a slugging percentage of uh, 490, which is uh, very good. He's also got an on-base percentage of 443, which is just excellent. Norse offense has been uh, very good this season. Strike three called. The base is stolen by Rivest, but uh, O'Connor goes down on a called strike three. So North with a runner on second and one out. That's the first strikeout by Jared Recolitis. That's going to bring up Aaron Peterson. Peterson uh, rolled into a tailor-made double play. It was up the middle. Zietz uh, picked it cleanly, stepped on second, and threw to first to end the first inning. Let's see what Peterson can do here with the runner in scoring position. Line drive to center field is going to be in for a base hit. The runner, Rivest, uh, went back to uh, second. He thought it might be a line drive caught by Zietz, but when it got over his head, he was in no position to try and score on the hit. So runners on first and third for North. That's the third hit given up now by uh, Jared Recolitis. That's going to bring up uh, Tyler Van Calligan. John Raff going out on the mound to uh, meet with his pitcher, discussing what they want to do if uh, the runner breaks for a second, if they want to throw through or not. I mentioned before, Van Calligan came into today's game hitting 304. He walked his first time, so that's going to stay the same. 
It's also got a slugging percentage of uh, 375, which is uh, it's okay. On base, a 400 is very good. Ball is fouled back. South avoided major damage in the uh, top of the second, allowing only one north run. Uh, north is threatening again here in the top of the third with first and third and only one out. Bouncing ball to short. Zietz coming home, bounces it in. The tag is made and uh, Rivest is out at the plate. Bounced in, good pick by John Raff. Uh, not such a great throw, but he was able to apply to tag, and North uh, does not score. Van Calligan reaches on a fielder's choice. Nice play by Tyler Zietz. Weston Nelson up. Nelson hit into a fielder's choice his first time, and he scored the North run back in the second. Ball bounces in. For ball one. Peterson's on at second. Van Calligan is at first. The fly ball out the center field. Martinez racing in, but it's uh, Tyler Zietz going away from the play, makes the catch over the shoulder, and that ends the North threat. At the end of two and a half, north one, south nothing. You're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Now you're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Radon is an invisible radioactive gas that seeps inside your home from underground. Whether you smoke or not, radon can cause lung cancer. Protect your family. Have your home tested. Call 1-800-SOS-RADON. Radon problems can be fixed. Grandpa, look what I got. Let me see. Oh, Dad, wait till you see the bike we got for Jake. Hearing loss happens gradually with age, making it easy to ignore. Yet most older Americans aren't getting their hearing tested. Untreated hearing loss can keep your loved ones from enjoying what they cherish most. Dad, can you hear me? Don't let that happen. Speak up about hearing loss. You'll be glad you did. There you see Mike Zietz, Tyler's dad. He's coaching over at first base. Craig Clays is uh, coaching at third. And leading off the uh, bottom of the third, is the bottom third of the order, it'll be uh, Connor Harrison leading off, like I mentioned, and it'll be Mitchell Martinez and Aaron Gutierrez batting ninth. High fly ball out to uh, Rivest and right, and he makes the easy catch. One pitch, one out. And for the Red Wings, left center fielder, number nine, Mitchell Martinez. Martinez uh, coming in. Uh, was hitting 367. That average has gone down slightly, but uh, he's uh, having a nice year. He's a speedy outfielder. And obviously, he can hit a little bit. Good looking player, left handed hitter. That picture there is uh, being provided by uh, Scott Mailoff. Richard Bartson is uh, on the first base side. There you got Richard's camera. Hey, Kerry, can we see that Invisible Man camera? There it is, that one being run by the Invisible Man. And they pretty much got the uh, netting out of the way. So good job of setting up the equipment. Kerry Kautzer in the truck. Switching from camera to camera, getting us those uh, commercials between innings. He's the old veteran. Well, maybe not old, just a veteran. That ball is driven long and hard by Martinez over the head of uh, Austin Mork. Mork playing a little bit shallow, wasn't expecting that. And uh, Martinez said, you better get back. Boy, I can hit that ball. 
So Martinez is on at second. Gutierrez is up. Aaron is gonna is playing left field today. Hitting in the uh, 240 range on the year. Saul threatening at a runner on second with only uh, one out. First pitch uh, swung on and missed, strike one. Need to give a shout out to uh, Steve Peterson, uh, one of the North coaches for uh, running off the uh, North High stats for us. Uh, I really appreciate that, always adds to the broadcast. And that ball straight back. Bennett, you can get up from under the table now. The ball stopped rolling. <laughs> to his credit, he was the only one that ducked. The rest of us were too stupid to duck. Ball is fouled off. The count is one and two. Martina is on at second with a double. There's one out. We're in the bottom of the third. Van Calligan on the mound for the Raiders. The ball is driven high and deep. But Weiss uh, gets back and makes the catch. And uh, that'll take us back to the top of the order with uh, Tyler Zietz. Zietz grounded the short his first time up. Steve Goes was asked the other day at uh, the North Bayport game if he would uh, be my partner. And uh, at the time he said, I don't know for sure. And uh, he was with his young son at the Bayport game. And he says, you know, I think I got a babysit on Saturday morning, but we'll see. So Steve is here with his young son. And... Uh, his son is pretty little. He's a toddler. You know, you can't just leave him run around the park or up here in the booth. It just wouldn't work. So he called his dad. And his dad came over and uh, was all set to do a little bit of babysitting. And uh, the little Steve goes, just won't let go of daddy. <laughs> and anytime he tries to give him to grandpa, there's just a lot of screaming and crying. So, uh, Steve is hoping that uh, he'll be able to join the broadcast at some point. I am too. But uh, that's kind of where we stand. At bat is Zietz. He's got a two ball, one strike count. Martinez remains on second base. There's now two outs. Ground ball out to Tommy Wright at second. He makes the uh, slick play and throw over to first to uh, Theobald, and that's the end of the inning. And at the end of three complete, North leading one to nothing. to be perfect to be a perfect parent because kids in foster care don't need perfection they need you this could be a bicycle or a bat this could be a robot or an airplane this could be a playground this could be a book bag or a soccer ball this could be a book this could be beautiful this cannot be trash. This can all be recycled. Learn more at thiscouldbe.org. Back at uh, Wildwood, uh, just talking to uh, McLean Bennett from the press. Uh, got about a year in. Uh, says he likes it here. I got about 65 years in. I like it too. <laughs> Long time Sheboygan resident. Austin Morick stepping in for uh, North. Austin uh, is playing left field today, and he uh, reached back in the second on a fielder's choice. 
It's a hard ground ball to uh, Amundsen at third, and uh, Carter makes a strong throw. One pitch, Riley one out. Number two, Riley O'Connor is uh, up next. He reached on a walk his last time up. Great day for a ball game. It's even a great day for a doubleheader. Unfortunately, you people that are watching this, it'll be days later and you will have missed it. Hopefully you've caught the results in the paper. Actually, very important games for uh, each team when it comes to uh, the seating meetings and uh, their standing in uh, the pairings for the regional tournament. Uh, means a little more for North in terms of conference standing. Uh, they have a chance to finish in second place. O'Connor uh, grounds to uh, Amundsen, who makes a strong throw to first for the out. Carter's probably uh, very comfortable, obviously, at third, but he's also an experienced catcher. He's one of those, uh, you know, would be the second catcher on South's team after Raff, but uh, he's very, very good. Most teams he'd be starting. And like I said, he's a great hitter. So Carter, an all-around good ball player. Dominic Mon in. Dominic has the... Uh, Drove in the only north run with a sack fly. Takes that second pitch for a strike. 0-2. Recolitis threw him a breaking ball. Broke outside, but non Mon couldn't check the swing. It goes as a strikeout. And we're at the end of three and a half. North remains on top, one to nothing. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. W where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. It's not over. Japan still needs our help. This is not yesterday's news. It's happening now. This is Japan now. Let's help. All right, it's getting ready to start the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. Red, Red Wings trail by a score of one to nothing, but uh, they got a meat part of the order coming up. John Raft, their catcher, the second hitter in the lineup, will lead it off. Raft uh, hitting in the 290s, close to 300, and dumps a hit out in uh, left field. To lead off the inning. And that brings up Carter Amundsen. Carter grounded to uh, Peterson at third, grounded out. Carter looks like a ball player when he steps in there. Tyler Van Calligan on the mound for uh, the Raiders. That ball is uh, driven deep into left field. Mork ranges back and makes the catch. And uh, Raff will have to retreat back to uh, first base. That was a good Van Calligan fastball, and I'll tell you, Amundsen caught up to it and uh, drilled it out to left field. And that brings up Robert Huffman. Huffman reached on an air. He flew out or flew to right right field, and the uh, Rivest uh, ranged over, got to it, but wasn't able to uh, make the play. Tommy Wright. Ranges to his left in the hole at second and uh, picks and throws to get the uh, batter. 
But uh, Raff moves up to second base now, and Tanner Recolitis has a chance to help out his brother with a base hit. Second inning in a row now, South has put a runner in scoring position. Tanner, one of the uh, two seniors on uh, South squad. Swing and a miss on that first pitch. That ball has popped up on the infield. Theobald has a bead on it, comes over and makes the catch, and that's the end of the inning. So a leadoff, hit, a leadoff base hit by Raff is wasted. Uh, South comes up empty, and at the end of four, complete. One to nothing north. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going. Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly, like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. Matt Theobald is going to lead off the uh, top of the fifth for North. He's the number nine hitter. You get a good shot of the diamond. And uh, the North dugout on this side. North is the uh, visiting team uh, this game. I believe what will happen in the second game is uh, North will be the home team. Uh, what they've done this year in the conference is... Uh, gone with uh, quite a few double headers and uh, so if North let's say were to go up to uh, Green Bay East and play a double header East would be the home team the first game and then uh, North would be the home team the second game and what it does is it by playing more double headers it helps to open up the more dates for possible uh, rainouts and things of that nature which uh, has really been a headache this particular spring Theobald lines a base hit to uh, the gap out in left center field, and uh, he's going to have himself a uh, sliding double. Didn't look like a double at first, but uh, that ball hit the grass and scooted between the outfielders. And that's going to bring up Garrett Rivest. Theobald uh, having a nice day. He's two for two. Singled back in the second and now a double here in the fifth. That pitch uh, is outside a little bit. Throw down by Raff is not in time. Theobald got back. Be interesting to see how uh, North plays this, whether they want to try and bunt that runner over or let uh, Rivest hit away. Recolitis is up at... Uh, First base, looking for the bunt. Amundsen was about even with the bag. Zietz over at uh, shortstop is uh, pretty close to the bag, trying to keep uh, the runner Theobald close there. Huffman is deep at second. Just out of range of your uh, screenshot. Nice bunt by uh, Rivest, but uh, once it hits the corner of the grass, it's going to roll foul. That foul line, as you can tell, is uh, very close to the grass line, and you need to keep it on the grass, or it's almost always going to roll foul. But uh, with that foul attempt now, it's uh, one ball and two strikes on Rivest, and uh, 
Coach Wright has been known to uh, have his players bunt with two strikes. We'll see how he plays it. And uh, Rivas looked like he was uh, shortening up to uh, bunt again. And uh, Coach not happy with his runner at second. He wanted him to uh, make sure you uh, are safe out there. Don't get picked off. Time he puts it right out in front of home plate. Raff takes it. Guns him at first base by less than half a step. It was very close, but a good sacrifice bunt moves the runner over. Number for the Raiders, number 33, Cody Weiss. Cody Weiss uh, is up. Weiss uh, was hit by a pitch back in the first and uh, was called out on strikes on a steal attempt by Rivest. And uh, it was a Throw him out, or strike him out, throw him out, double play actually. That was back in the third. Line drive, not waiting. Took that first pitch, lined it out to a left center field. Martinez makes a good play to uh, cut it off, but uh, the damage is done. Weiss's single drives in North's second run of the ball game. Aaron Peterson up. Peterson uh, hit into a double play in the first and uh, singled in the third. Weiss taking a nice lead off of first and then he shortens up as uh, Recolitis steps off. Quick throw over to first is not in time. You see Jim Doden, our uh, base umpire, Weiss taking a lead off of first. Pitches inside for a ball. Count is one ball and no strikes. Another pickoff attempt. Not quite in time. Rick Bubbles telling them to uh, stay awake over there. Tanner Recolitis, number 25, is the first baseman. Big guy, good target. Ball hit out to uh, center field. Martinez ranges over, makes the play. And there are two outs. Number 10, Tyler Van Calligan. Van Calligan is up next. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, Weiss uh, takes off. I'll try to get him into... Uh, Scoring position for your number four hitter. And if he doesn't make it and he gets thrown out, you still have your number four hitter leading off in the next inning. Weiss well, not going on the first pitch. Coach Wright uh, flashing the signs over. You can just kind of see him over the shoulder of Rick Bubbles. In the background, Ooh, almost a pick there. Looked like he wanted to go, looked like he was leaning, just got back in time. Getting a little bit bigger lead at first. And doesn't go, Raff throwing down to first. The South guys aren't afraid to throw the ball around. They have good arms on the infield. Two balls and no strikes on Van Calligan. Fly ball out to right. And ranging over and making the catch is uh, Matt Miller. And we're at the end of four and a half innings of play. North now up two to nothing. I'm bored. I think I'll ride my bike. It may never be this easy to help your kids find balance, but you have more power than you know. For a free Parents Handbook plus other resources, visit the WeCan website. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. 
Did you know that 90% of all eye injuries can be prevented by simply wearing proper eye protection? I'm Dr. Tamara Fountain for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We recommend that every household keep protective eyewear on hand to use during home projects and other activities that can cause injuries. Know your risks, save your sight. To learn more about eye health, visit GetEyeSmart.org. Back at uh, Wildwood Baseball Park, getting ready to uh, start the bottom of the fifth. South uh, trailing two to nothing. North got a uh, RBI single from Cody Weiss to uh, drive in Theobald, who had uh, let off the inning with the double. Jared Recolitis is up. He uh, flew out to right his first time. A little bit of overthrowing by uh, Van Calligan on the last two pitches. Bounced them both in. 2-0 to uh, Jared. That pitch is up. Makes it 3-0. and South was able to get the leadoff hitter on back in the fourth, but uh, we're not able to get him in. And uh, four-pitch walk starts the inning for uh, the Red Wings. Connor Harrison up. Connor is uh, 0 for 1, flew out to right. He's DHing today for uh, Matt Miller. Joey Schultz is going to pinch hit. Pinch run, pardon me, for Recolitis. Give a shout out to Mike for uh, correcting me on that. Joey Schultz has uh, done quite a bit of pinch running for uh, the Red Wings this year. Harrison swings and misses at that first pitch. 0-2 the count. Craig Clay's flashing some signs over at first. Two balls, pardon me, one ball and two strikes. Oh, swung at a bad pitch. That was up in the strike zone. And uh, for uh, Van Calligan, that's his second strikeout of the ball game. Mitchell Martinez up next. Martinez drove one deep to left back in the third. He is a one for one. This is like church in here. <laughs> South beat Southwest four to nothing in girls soccer. Martinez grounds one to a right at second. He picks and throws for the out, but uh, the runner Schultz advances to second. And again, uh, South has a runner in scoring position. Uh, Gutierrez is up. He's going to try and. Uh, Tighten up the ball game. Aaron uh, flew out to center field his uh, first time up. Falls that one straight back. Waiting on deck is a leadoff hitter, Tyler Zietz. A swing and a miss. 
And Callaghan's starting to heat it up in the strike zone again. He had a little trouble with the leadoff hitter. But uh, he's been around the strike zone since then. One ball and two strikes. There's two outs. We're in the bottom of the fifth. North on top, two to nothing. Uh, Joey Schultz running for uh, Jared Recolitis is out at second. Waiting to run home on a base hit. We're getting down towards the end of the season. Not too many games left. And then uh, we've mentioned it several times before. Tournaments will be coming up. Some of the teams in the uh, sectional with North and South are uh, Beaver Dam, Fond du Lac, Madison East, La Follette, Manitowoc Lincoln, Oconomowoc, Oshkosh North and West, Sun Prairie, and Watertown. Sun Prairie is the team to watch probably in that sectional. At least they've been in the past. They've had some uh, very, very good teams. Won the state tournament, I think, uh, either two years in a row or two out of three. That's going back just a little bit. They've got pretty good history with baseball. And uh, was ahead two strikes and no balls and loses Gutierrez and he walks and now we have runners on first and second and Zietz up. This is not the situation that Van Calligan wanted. And Tyler is uh, 0 for 2, grounded to short and grounded to second. Good stop by O'Connor, and now they're going to have a problem. They got uh, two men on second base, and they've got uh, Gutierrez in a rundown, and uh, Tommy Wright applies the tag, and that's the end of the inning. Gutierrez uh, put his head down and ran to second, never looked to see what the other runner did, but uh, at the end of five, north two, south nothing. I wouldn't let my peeps drop drunk. Do you? Do you? Do you? I got one. Do you? Actually, I got two. Designated drivers, that is. Keep your head screwed on straight. Don't drive drunk. I don't. Do you? Do you? Do, do you? you? Don't drink and drive. We don't. Do you? Brought to you by Rad, Terry Fader, and My Safe Ride Home. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. I'm looking for my safe ride home. Do you? It's your home, it's your dream. Great on testing, keep it healthy and clean. Make it green, green, green. Making it green starts from the ground up, so make sure the air in your home is healthy for your family to breathe. Test your home for the presence of radon. Go to epa.gov slash radon. Make it green, green, green. Time was, kids... Jim Doden. He's from uh, Appleton, I believe, up in the Appleton area. All righty, back at uh, Wildwood Park. There you see uh, Jared Recolitis uh, throwing his warm up pitches uh, prior to the start of the inning. Just looking through uh, some of these uh, programs. Uh, Norris is uh, very complete. Chris Wright. He's been working real hard on this. South uh, has got a great start. This is the first uh, program I've seen from uh, Craig Clayson. and they've got a great start on theirs. I think as uh, some of the years go by, they'll develop that and uh, have it include a little more uh, going through some of the all-conference. Uh, we did mention Cody Weiss was an all-conference player last year. Uh, making honorable mention was Aaron Peterson. Nelson drives a shot down the left field line, but it just foul. 
No balls and two strikes to uh, Weston. Just looking through the single season records, Rick Bubbles, who uh, is coaching first base, uh, leads in plate appearances with 129. That's back in, is that 1889 or 1989? <laughs> he also leads in runs scored in 89 with 36. And in games played with 31. Yeah, you're right there. DePoctor's near the top of some of those lists, Greg. Nelson lifts one to uh, left field and uh, drives the left fielder back a little bit. Gutierrez, but uh, he makes the catch. We're in the top of the sixth. North on top, two to nothing. Austin Mork is up next. Mork 0 for two. North with uh, two runs, five hits, and one error. South with uh, no runs, two hits, and uh, one error. Rides inside. It's uh, two and all. Pop up to short right. Coming in and making the play is uh, Matt Miller. Now for the Raiders, number two, Riley O'Connor. Riley O'Connor coming to the plate. Him and John Raff having a little discussion as they walk up to the plate area. One of the things that uh, makes it a lot easier for the home plate umpire is when you have a good catcher, a guy that'll stay low and help frame the pitches for you. Breaking ball in for a strike. Next pitch right by the mound, gets past Recolitis, but uh, Huffman makes a strong throw over to first for the out. 4-3 put out, and at the end of five and a half innings of play, North on top, two to nothing. Hello, I'm Dr. Regina Benjamin, U.S. Surgeon General. Breastfeeding is a preventive measure that can protect babies from illnesses and infections and there are also health benefits for mothers. While 75% of American mothers start out breastfeeding, only 13% of babies are exclusively breastfed at the end of six months, and the rates are much lower for African American infants. Whether you're a grandmother or an employer, you can help make it easier for moms to breastfeed. For more information, please go to surgeongeneral.gov. The preteen years, pre years are a challenging time, but they're also a good time to think about your child's health, which is why, if you're the parent of an 11 or 12-year-old, you need to know about preteen vaccines. Vaccines that can protect your preteen from meningitis, whooping cough, and for girls, the virus that causes cervical cancer. So schedule a checkup for your child today and ask about preteen vaccines, because your preteen might think that they're grown up, but they're counting on you to know better. Brought to you by DHHS and the CDC. Not enjoying the results of the game so far. Tyler Zietz is going to lead off the uh, bottom of the sixth. Ben Calligan still on the mound for the Raiders. Pitches foul at home plate. Field was a little damp when uh, we got here to set up, but uh, with the sun and a little bit of drying compound and a little bit of rake work, uh, it looks very nice now. Mound appears to be in good shape. We're not sure who's throwing the double header, or pardon me, the second game of the double header. For uh, either team, I would believe it'd be uh, Tanner Recolitis pitching the second game for South. Not sure about uh, North. That pitch is a swung on and missed. 
Zietz pitching uh, the second game. Not Recolitis. That's according to Coach Mike. But what does he know? That's what the kids tell me. <laughs> Just kidding, Mike. And Callaghan trying to heat up the fastball, but uh, Zietz uh, staying right with it. One ball and two strikes. There's no outs. We're in the uh, bottom of the sixth. North on top, two to nothing. Breaking ball is uh, fouled off. Zietz doing a great job of hanging in there. On deck is John Raff. Ball hit out to a right at second. He makes the play. Now batting for Shmoy himself, number 27, John Raff. John Raff coming up. John hitting in uh, near 300 on the season. He's got a base hit today. He's one for two. John with a couple of doubles and a triple. Ball has popped up behind home plate. Riley O'Connor got near the tarps and uh, just couldn't quite make the play. Good effort. And good sportsmanship shown by uh, John to uh, give Riley his mask. That's a catcher helping out a catcher. Raff uh, drives the ball out to right field. Rivest. Makes the play on a great running catch towards right center. I didn't think he was going to get there, but uh, he made the play. Two outs in the bottom of the sixth, and that brings up Carter Amundsen. Carter 0 for 2. He's hit the ball hard, especially the last time out to left field. Uh, Mork making a nice play. This pitch is a ball. Breaking ball is a strike. One and one. Robert Huffman on deck. You know, in the hands of Amundsen, and he pops it up to left field, and that's uh, caught. And at the end of six, complete. North two, south nothing. I can have the text all night long, but not when I'm driving. What's the point of texting me about a party that you might not make it to? I don't text and drive. Do you? Do you? Do you? Did you say text or sex? Hey, I got an idea. As long as you're texting, why don't you write your own obituary, dumb ass? I don't text and drive. Do you? We don't text and drive. Do you? Brought to you by Rad Terry Vader and his cast of thousands. Friends don't let friends text and drive. Party! Do you? Getting ready to start the uh, seventh inning. North on top, two to nothing. You see uh, Recolitis throwing that last warm up pitch to Rapp as he throws down. Leading off the seventh for uh, the Raiders will be uh, Dominic Mann. Dominic uh, is 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly. He's been uh, DHing today. First pitch is a ball. Ball 
well too. South has really struggled uh, for a good portion of the season with their hitting. They only have two hits today off of Van Calligan. They had uh, three hits the other night over at uh, Bayport and uh, just don't have their hitting shoes on the last several weeks. With that foul, uh, Dominic Mons pitch our count is two and two. There's no outs. He's a leadoff hitter here in the seventh. First game of a doubleheader. And uh, that ball rides inside and nicks him on the shirt sleeve. Somebody for the Raiders, number 14, Matt Theobald. Dominic uh, played uh, football, basketball, and now baseball. He's a starter on all three sports. He's uh, quite an athlete. Like I said, he's a Jefferson boy. I like to give those guys a shout out. Shout out. Just over there yesterday, teaching a little fourth grade, Mrs. Peculik's class. Pitch bounces in. Great stop by John Raff. Keep the runner on first. And a little meeting at the mound. Matt Theobald, two for two in the ball game. Be interesting. He's a number nine hitter. Normally you'd have him bunting, but uh, the way he's been hitting the ball, he might uh, let him swing away. Paul Grauman behind the plate. Jim Doden on the bases, our umpires. Another bouncer, 2 and all. Wind up in the pitch. Theobald got a good rip at it, but fouled it off. Two balls and one strike. We're in the seventh inning. North on top, two to nothing. Uh, Recolitis, Jared Recolitis, and uh, Tyler Van Calligan have both pitched a fine ball game. Theobald uh, pops it up on the infield, and it's dropped. They're going to get the uh, force at second on Mon. Theobald didn't know where the ball went. He stood at home plate until the ball was actually missed by uh, Tanner Recolitis. And then there was nobody at first to uh, throw to, but they threw down to second for the force, and uh, now it's Theobald on at, sec at first base on a, what we'll call a fielder's choice. And we're back to the top of the order. Garrett Rivest, Rivest one for two with a sacrifice. Theobald getting a nice lead at first. Amundsen even with the bag at third. Of course, Tanner Recolitis holding the runner at first. The middle infielders are uh, shading up the middle. Mitchell Martinez not real deep out in center. Left and right are actually kind of deep, probably deeper than Martinez. That'd be uh, Gutierrez and uh, Miller. We'll change of pace that time, swung on and missed. One ball and two strikes. Theobald on at first, Rivest at the bat. Line drive out the left center, right center field. That's going to be a gapper. That could score a run all the way to the wall. Rivest is going to hold at second, and coming all the way around to score is Matt Theobald. That makes it three to nothing, Raiders. That ball was struck hard and in the gap. As a base runner, that's a very easy one to read. You know it's not going to get caught. You can just take off and run right away. 
So North has a run in, in the seventh. It's now three to nothing. Cody Weiss is up. Weiss is one for two. He had an RBI single his last time. Takes that first pitch right down Main Street for a strike. I guess here in Sheboygan it'd be right down 8th Street. Ball is straight back. No balls and two strikes. Ball is fouled down the uh, third base side and out of the ballpark. North now with uh, six hits. That ball makes it one ball and two strikes. Again, uh, ball driven out of the ballpark, foul down the uh, third base side. Reclitis, uh right back to him. They've got the runner caught off a of second base. And in a rundown. And they got him. But in the meantime, Weiss showing good hustle, made it all the way to uh, second on that rundown play. But uh, Rivest is out. On a 1-6-5. Aaron Peterson up. North still has that runner in scoring position, but there are two outs now. And we get time out. Will Madsen's going to come out to the mound to uh, talk to uh, the boys. There you see uh, Tanner Recolitis, 25, 28, of course, is uh, Jared. 19 is uh, Robert Huffman. Will Matson in the all red, right in the middle of the pack. Carter Amundsen, number 16, of course, John Raff with the catcher's gear on. Zietz is uh, number two. The way the offense has been for uh, Salt, it's going to be, it was hard enough with a two-run deficit. Three-run deficit makes it real hard. If it's uh, going to get bumped up to four or more, it's uh, going to be not impossible, but uh, very, very hard. So they need to get this last out without uh, Weiss scoring. First pitch is a ball. We have two outs. We're in the top of the seventh. North on top, three to nothing. Liner to Zietz. He got a glove on it, but uh, is not going to be able to make a play. That'll be a base hit. The batting for the Raiders, number 10, Tyler Van Callaghan. Can I get confirmation on that, boys? <laughs> We all agree it's a base hit. First and third now for the Raiders. Tyler Van Calligan is 0 for 2 with a walk. He's got a chance to help his own cause. Swinging at that first pitch. Puts it in the uh, bullpen area down the first base side. North, uh, probably not going to win the conference, but uh, they have an excellent chance of finishing in second and improving their uh, seating for uh, the upcoming tournament. If uh, they can win a couple more ball games, they have a chance at uh, drawing a bye in that first regional game and then moving right to the May 30th regional finals. 
And Van Calligan with a base hit to right. And uh, holding on at second base is uh, Peterson, but the Raiders add to their lead. Now batting for the Raiders, number three, Weston Nelson. And with runners on first and second, Weston Nelson is up, and uh, Coach Wright talking to uh, Paul Groman. And they're going to send in a uh, courtesy runner. It's going to be Andy Seymour coming in to run for Van Calligan. Next running for the Raiders is number eight, Andy Seymour. All right, we've got uh, Seymour at first. Peterson at second. Two runs are in for the Raiders. Weston Nelson up. He's 0 for 3 in the ball game. <clears throat> Looked like he might have had a hit in the third, but uh, Zietz made an over-the-shoulder catch running out towards center field to Rob Nelson. Infield is deep. Looking for that third out. Recolitis not holding Seymour at first. Nelson uh, in the hole. No balls, two strikes. That pitch uh, rode right in on him. That was almost a self-defense type of swing. Keep the ball from hitting him. Waiting on deck is uh, Austin Mork. Pickoff play at second, put the runners back. Leading off the seventh, or batting in the seventh, will be Huffman, Recolitis, and Recolitis for uh, the Red Wings. That's a four, five, and six hitter. And uh, that ball was swung on. And missed, but dropped in the throw down the first for the uh, out. So a strikeout, and we're at the end of six and a half, but North tacking on two runs in the seventh, lead it four to nothing. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. Hi, I'm Rosie Greer. As a former NFL player, I know the value of teamwork. That's why I'm here with my friend and prostate cancer survivor, Charlie Wilson. Each year, more than 32,000 die from prostate cancer. African-American men are 60% more likely to be diagnosed with the disease and more than twice as likely to die from it. Caught early, this cancer is highly treatable. If you're over 40, man up. Speak to your doctor about your prostate health. The Prostate Cancer Foundation is leading the way in discovering better treatments and cures. Together, we can take aim against prostate cancer. We're back at Wildwood Park, and there you see some of the fans. Scott Mailoff giving you that shot. Huffman leading off the seventh. Van Calligan still on the mound for the Raiders. He's uh, given up two hits. He's uh, walked two and struck out two. It's been very solid. Theobald has a beat on that foul ball and uh, makes the catch for the first out in the seventh. Tanner Recolitis, 0 for 2 in the game. He struck out and popped up the first.
first pitch is low. North on top, four to nothing. They have four runs, eight hits, and one error. South, no runs, two hits, and one error. Look like Van Calligan pulled the string that time. Uh, Ruckolitis a little bit uh, quick on the swing. Just followed straight back off of uh, Riley O'Connor's glove. It's uh, one ball and two strikes. Recolitis uh, grounds it to short. Ness Nelson's uh, strong throw to first is in time. And there are two outs in the seventh. We're one out away from uh, North taking the first game of this doubleheader and improving their uh, conference record to 10-3, and 14-4 uh, and four overall. But uh, they need to get one more out. Jared Rec Recolitis stands between the Raiders and a victory. Two and zero is the count to uh, Jared Recolitis. Went seven innings today so far. Gave up eight hits, four runs, three of them were earned. He's uh, walked two, struck out three. Pitched a fine ball game. Two balls and one strike. The Goes family, by the way, is still in the house. Steve's son is enjoying time with his dad, <laughs> but any time Grandpa wanted to take the little the little one, he wouldn't have anything to do with it. Uh, we'll hope to get uh, Steve on in a later broadcast. Called strike three by Van Calligan, and uh, he ends a fine ball game with a strikeout. And finishes the deal. It's a four to nothing North win. They run their record to a fourteen and four, ten and three in conference. South drops to a ten and eight, six and seven in conference. There'll be a second game today. We will not be doing that uh, broadcast. Want to thank the uh, the crew, Richard Bartson and uh, Scott Mailoff on camera. Kerry Coutts, our director. And I was your announcer, Mike Martin. It was uh, my pleasure bringing you the ball game. Uh, we hope to see you. We'll do a couple other games before the end of the baseball season. And then uh, we look forward to bringing you the, uh, the parade, Memorial Day parade coming up. And I'll be announcing that too. So thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you down the road.